Hello everyone and welcome back. It's currently uh, 20 to 3 in the morning and I can't currently sleep. So I figured, hey, what better time to jump in and uh, be a space ninja for a bit, you know? <laughs> so here we are, we're back at it again. Now, um, the strange thing is, we've been calling these like my fourth day, my third day and stuff like that. But technically speaking, my fourth episode was kind of recorded on the third day. So I did like two and then like was still technically sort of third day to fourth day. And this is like the fifth episode. So I don't know how we're going to label these or if I'm just going to put dates on them. Or maybe we just start calling them part five, part six, part seven, part eight. Uh, for anyone that wants to follow along with the journey. Or maybe I scrap that all together now. And uh, just sort of do update videos. Down up in the comments and let me know how you'd like me to sort of handle handle this. I can't, I can't, I can't stop looking at his face. He's got no eyes. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's about it, really. It was just sort of playing on my mind. So we're fast approaching 500 subscribers. The support for this game has been fucking unreal. Like unfucking real um i just can't believe that this game's not advertised more uh the games like destiny are uh dominating twitch and youtube and stuff like that and i honestly don't feel like they're as good as this to be fair so far anyway uh the other issue i'm having is i played diablo 4 which uh, is in a transitional stage of uh, improving at the moment. And I also play Helldivers, but I'm playing more than that besides live service games. And uh, things are getting a bit much. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment. So I don't know how we're going to balance all this out long term, but I'm sure I'll figure something out as I'm a no life gamer. So we'll figure something out. So don't worry about it. Okay, so moving on. I did have a quick look online, but I am a little bit impatient. I get bored of reading, so but I did pick up one cool fact that I'm just going to sort of work by for now, which is if you're ever stuck or you don't know what to do, you just go to your codex. Boom. Apparently everything I need is in here. And we're just going to pick what we're doing thus far and we're just going to crack on with it Sire's Vigil on the plains of uh, uh I can't read it Eidolon e -E -D -E -E -D -E 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 a mystery a mystery has lain buried for years one that will mend or destroy your heart and open the door to a hidden past so we're currently locating the shatter lock pieces if you did catch that, it was in the last episode. And I may start uploading a couple of day. I'm already, like, got a bit of a backlog. I've got, like, three of these ready to go and upload. Um, so I can either drip feed them daily. Uh, gives me a bit of breathing room to do other projects in between when I've got, like, five or six queued up. Or I could just whack them on and uh, let, you, let people peruse them at the will. I don't know which is better. I am new to YouTube. I don't really know what the best way to go about all this is. But we're figuring it out as we go. Alright. So now... Oh, so Everest and Eurasia are now available. Interesting. We're going to go back to see us and finish up what we're doing. Because I kind of feel that, like, you should do things in order. That's me personally. I don't like, I don't, oh, oh shit, oh what? How we can move the ship? Oh my God, I didn't even realize. Sire, Chronometer, let me help. This I is pretty interesting. There. I might be able to. It's brought us right oh, uh, to the outdoor are, area as opposed right, to the city, also, which is pretty cool. You both went out on the plains that day, but only you returned. 
You expect me to believe this had nothing to do with what happened in our early summers? When I rejected your iron flower, your proposal. Oh. Iron flower. I really love the fact that all this is voice acted. It's very good. No, I had nothing to do with his. I miss him too. I want to kill some of these. Get a bit of XP. I do kind of feel that the enemies are like way better than than a lot of the shit that's in Destiny as well. The only thing that I've noticed so far is enemy outlines could be a thing that they could do. I kind of feel some of the enemies kind of blend into the background a little bit. Oh, he just chops his arm off. Holy shit. So even now, as I speak, it's the middle of the night and I woke up and I couldn't sleep. And it's like the amount of um, comments and subscribers is just absolutely mind blowing. What the hell is that? We need to shoot wherever that is. That did a lot of hits. What the hell is this? Wow. He said something there, like a press a button, like an execute or something. He said mercy or something. I wonder if we could like let him live and let him run away or something. There have been a few other live service games as well. There's like one that's set in the future, like a division. Uh, that these butterflies have just reminded me of. I think I think my guy's bleeding. I'm a little bit worried. So, I like the fact that even just killing random mobs, we are getting bits and bats of loot. I mean, it may be trash, it may not, but the fact that, you know, we're still, we're still picking things up is pretty cool. And I like the fact that it's like Destiny where you get like different colored numbers depending on where you hit the body and stuff. Pretty sick. Oh shit. Like you could literally just spend a, a, like an hour just grinding it out on here. And the sound effects, this the sound design is brutally good. Um I just don't understand game companies that uh, have this talent. And literally don't advertise. I mean, maybe the player base is like just huge anyway and they don't really care. Equip your codex scanner and search the area for the glass shards we right, need. Okay. How do we do this? Oh what the hell? Get a little tools as well. How do I What am I actually supposed to be looking for? That's the question. I'm not entirely sure. Excellent, Tenno. There oh, we found one. This area. Do, do we just scan the glass pieces of glass? Is that it? Or do we have to pick them up? You found another shard. Keep looking. Oh, okay, so we just scan these, right? Interesting. What's this? Be 
think why we can't see any more glass anywhere. Oh, there's one. That's it. There's no more shards here. Boom, Jenga. Oh shit. Oh shit, I don't put my gun back on. I'm not hitting him. Let's Let's go, let's go. The com I've got to admit, the combat is pretty goddamn satisfying. I mean, how cruel is that, by the way? We said mercy there, we still, we still haven't done it properly yet. We try and, try and be merciful on one of these. That chain attack is so good, eh? Shoot this thing down. What am I getting shot by? a lot of shield there. Here we go. Point. Point, point, point. We have nice. everything we came for. Get to extraction. Let's go, baby. Oh, look at the little wabbits. The little wascally wabbits. Come here, you little wascals. Well, let's let's make our way out of here, guys. Bum 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 So I am just reading the comment here on on the last episode, uh the one that's coming up. I've played so since 2015 and still love opening up loot crates and lockers. Oh that's cool. Me too. No, no, I can't put that because I don't really know what he's on about, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. You have been able to play for that long. Oh, shit. For that long and still love the game. Good on you, Al. There you go. Real time uh, interaction with the fans there. Welcome back, operator. Oh, sorry about that. I just had to do a wicked sneeze. Tenno, you need codex scanners to find Encore's glass shards. Equip these in your arsenal. You run out, more can be found in the market. Oh, so you only get 25 charges as well. Okay. So we've already got that, right? We've already picked that up. So we'll delete our red messages there. Oh, here we go. The glass shards, right? Well, that's pretty dope. What was Vahek talking about back there? What power is he after? What power Uncle. is he after? He found the remains of the Unum's champion, a woman of glass. He studied her, obsessed about her ancient secrets. The Quills of Cetus swore us to secrecy, and the secret held until the Granir captured one. Can't imagine what they did to get one of them to talk, but Vahek's been after that relic ever since. 
Hi, oh, this way, heck. Could... Could he have taken Uncle prisoner, too? Do you think he'd make a trade? This coffer for my uncle? No. No. That would go against everything Uncle believed in. The sanctity of our people's home, of Cetus. Tenno, you'll need to find the remaining shards. I've tracked some off-world shipments to a galleon in orbit. Heck, maybe guarding okay. any key shards he's found up there. I'm kind of interested to start seeing when we start looting new weapons and stuff. I don't know if we have already. We're going to have a little bit of a look here. So, we go to this gun. There's a few different weapons here. So, as for... Oh, Mark 1 Bratton. Is, that, is this like an upgraded one? Standard issue rifle, all 10 or versatile weapon that could customize. That's uh, 1500. So, what's the difference? And what's this one? So, why can we purchase this one for credits and this one for credits? This one is we can only get a blueprint. Interesting. So I'm guessing we had to pay real world money or farm this. But we can probably try What does this do? Standard shotgun. Oh this one is standard bow. I mean, is this the same gun that we've already got? Or is this an upgraded version? Oh, we can't do anything. So, this is 7... Um, 7.5, 60 mag. Great chance A, 1.5. And this one's magazine 47, accuracy high. Great chance 12, 1.6, but it has been leveled up, you see. So... Yeah. Interesting. Oh, we have these decked Nikanas. Nikana. Interesting. So these are like unranked weapons, so we need to level these up, right? Okay. You've been playing for an hour, don't forget to take a break. No, I haven't. I just left it logged in and I fell asleep. That could be a bit of nine, right? So, says Vigil. So, we've done these so far. Find Onoko, examine the container, equip the codex scanner, locate the shattered lock pieces, use the codex to examine the glass shards, board, hex, galleon. Okay, let's do that now and test that, test that our new weapons. So the thing is, we've not done any of these that are in between, have we? So, are these possibly worth doing just to level up our gun? Are these just recommended points? So, this one is a 1 to 6 area. And it wants us to go down here. But is this kind of a recommended one, or is there a mission on this one? I mean, it's lit up, so we might as well just go and have a look at it. Plus, I'm hoping we can level up these guns so I get a bit of an idea 
on like what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Because if he's got a 60 clip, that to me is quite a big upgrade. Obviously, with a couple of levels, it's going to be even better. We're here in search of lost artifacts and items buried deep below the surface. The I thought I had two of these. The Go to the dig site. Okay. Let's just check out this new gun. Hopefully it's going to do enough damage to get the job done. Oh yeah, it's different. Totally shit damage though. I suppose we are going to be leveling it up, right? So you probably have to farm up, like, new weaponry. Nice. Easy. So I like the fact the rag gun changes. What the hell are we carrying here? Can we only use our pistol when we're carrying this, or...? Yeah, it looks like it. So, a good note to oneself when carrying missions are involved. Make sure our sidearm's up to date. It's kind of good, because it kind of gives you... a reason to upgrade your sidearm, as opposed to just... not doing. Um, getting shot from little shit right, come on now blocks all the time how do you set damage that's what i'm that's what i'm a little bit confused about oh what the fuck is this excavator is ready to go oh we just put that down and protect it from enemy fire okay so that's got a health bar as well Weapons are definitely weaker. Yeah. The excavator has lost power. Find another cell. What? Leveled up nice. If we go to the dig side, these dogs are gonna like kill my excavator. Right, I'll have to be quick here. We think.
Excavator deployed. Protect okay. the unit while it extracts the artifact. So we got another excavator now. Right. Are these guys destroy my other one though. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. Nice. So I wonder where we get the cells from. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, the cells all over here and I'm just not picking them up. Oh, shit, yeah, they're here. Oh my god, I'm a noob. Alright, alright, alright. We got this, we got this. Oh my god, look how many there is. Too many of them, dude. Here we go. Oink. for the excavator. Alright, calm down, calm down, we're getting one. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to need some upgrades here on these weapons. So I wonder if this is the be and end all of the weaponry. Or if this is just what's available to me now, or whether this is just the stuff that's available for this sort of Warframe or Tenno or whatever we're calling them. Um. Oh, what? What's going on? Oh, it's a big daddy one. Doing fire damage. Oh my god. We need another power cell for the excavator. Okay. Power cell to be out, dude. Let's go, let's go. Um yeah, we could have shot, but Oh you cheek bastard. What, we just uncovered. what did what did we uncover? Did it automatically pick it up? Shit. Oh, some secrets. So we got power back. Nice. Big damage. I don't think we need these anymore, right? Yes. 
I don't know if it's the level of the gun, but my melee weapons feel a little bit stronger right now. Excalibur. Oh, there is quite a good game here. Oh my god. I just can't believe in like 11 years I've played every game known to fucking man apart from this. I think I played it for about like half an hour um, on Steam. Did like two levels. Didn't understand what was going on and left. So I probably... I mean, I'm probably not alone on that. I think a lot of people have probably done that with this game. Oh, nice. Next to Tana. Level up. Go on the picture, it did show two swords, uh, but I don't know if it's my Tenno that can't dual wield swords or something. Perhaps. Oh shit, hold on. Should really be looting all these. We need to get as much loot as possible. Because I reckon the crafting later on is just going to be an absolute ball out without materials. Oh, sh oh, my bad. Oh. I thought he was just going to keep looping there. Looping my death. Oh, we got another one. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. These excavators are not very well powered, are they? I mean, let's be honest here. So these dogs are, hel are actually helping me. Oh shit, they were. I've noticed. Oh shit, what's going on? Whoa! We need another power cell for the excavator. Stop using grenades, you cheat it. You're cheating. The Massad seems to level up a little bit quicker than my gun at the moment. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Let's go. Let's make a train get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh no, oh no.
Oh. We got another excavator. Okay. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. We got a cell round here? Oh, these bloody grenades. Back off. Oh, he's got one. Good here. Go, let's go. We should be able to get some mods on this after this uh, run. I think. The excavator has lost power. Find another That dude was a bit fucking hard to kill. Okay, we got another one. Oh, did we do it? I thought we failed, though. The fuck? God, he does some damage. And this took our shield off. Okay. Another one. How many digs do we have to actually do? Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. The scanner has picked up a target. It'd be a lot easier if we had the, the mod for site. bonus damage on the on the I forget what they're called. These uh this rare people. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. <laughs> He's going. Another one here. There's another one here. Then we can spawn. Yeah. Oh, come on, we mercy again, and we never did it.
I think when it's yellow, it's a headshot. Is it a regret? Uh, let's go. These things stuck, stuck, stuck to me. Nasty. Yeah. We got another one. A rubido or formation. Ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. Okay. Got two power cells here. Three. Okay, let's grab this. Bring this over here. And he's got a power car, there's one there. Ah, oh, we did do mercy again. He just died. Couldn't mercy that one either. Oh shit, bad time. Excavation Look what they found. Words coming in of so many of you being your best selves. Nora is just beside herself with admiration. So do we do we extract or do, do we just keep doing this as long as we want? Oh, we should brush it. Oh, what the hell, dude? From little things, big That's a mercy kill. Dreams. I believe in you all. It seemed very merciful. So I don't think we're supposed to do all the digs, or was it just like an optional thing, or... Yeah. I'm not entirely sure, actually. I'm just trying to think. Hmm. We'll just keep going for now and see what happens, eh? Oh shit. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. I mean, if this was a PC game originally, I've got to be honest, the console conversion of this is very good. Runs really smooth. The controls are fantastic. Um, we need another power cell for the excavator. Probably the most underrated free to play game I've ever played. Ooh. 
Where's the power cell? Ah. Alright, stop doing that, mate. What the fuck? Mercy. Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna check it out. Stop it. Why have the enemy just got so much harder to deal with? Is this like the, the longer I stay, the harder it gets? Like. Excavator destroyed. Oh Protect shit. Protect the remaining dig sites. Why? Why are these fuckers so hard to kill though? Oh my god. Why has it just got so difficult? Glad like the enemies keep scaling up. Maybe we should extract now. We are getting some good cards though, 9% vitality and whatnot. Some of these cards are red and stuff. So I'm presuming they are pretty, pretty good. Um, is it longer? The longer we stay on the map, the harder they get. These are like level 12 now. I'm not even sure if I can kill these now. These seem pretty hard, man. Unless I've done something wrong. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. The scanner has picked up a Just target. A Go to the dig site. Excavator has lost power. Find another cell. Beautiful. Perfect. What these red things? Excavator has lost power. Oh my god. Mercy, 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 mercy. God, we can't damage that. Run out of power. Find a cell. Well, we need a power cell, dude.
Get off it. There's got to be a power cell around here somewhere. What the hell? Oh, he's gone. Why have I not picked you up? Oh. We're failing. I think we need to get out of here. I think we're going to die. Can we extract yet? I think we just get out of the fuck out of here and just upgrade. So I'm guessing that the longer you stay, it's just going to get more and more difficult, right? So the potential for grinding is uh, absolutely absurd, mate. That was kind of fucking insane, right? I'm not sure uh, if we even completed that. But we did get our rifle up to rank 5. Uh, Corpus. Grenier. Were they Grenier or Corpus? I mean, 1.05. 1, 1. I mean, that just seems a bit shit. Compared to... Five percent reload speed and uh, fifteen percent ammo maximum versus five percent magazine capacity. Now, these two seem pretty OP, right? Even for a copper. Oh, they seem good. Okay. And we'll also Do you get any of these for credits. I mean, are these different. Are these different warframes or what are these are these all the characters wukong is he like the monkey king varban vol varuna nidus niza bros is that what level i am level 17. oh yeah rank 17. cool 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 Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, we're going to upgrade this right now. So, we, oh my god, 16 fucking traits. So I'm going to guess the melee weapons like get scaled up a lot harder. Uh, Beaver strike, toxin, toxin. Is there any way to just double click them? Melee damage, status chance. Impact. We could nearly put them all on. So that's pretty interesting. So we've changed some of our weapons up. We've got a few new upgrades. And we are pressuring on sort of with these missions here. Uh, how well I'm doing, I don't know. Uh, you guys be the judge but like i say after every video because <laughs> uh yeah call to action and all that we are fast approaching 500 subscribers if you have enjoyed today's content please consider subscribing possibly drop a comment and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on whether you liked or disliked the video and i hope you are enjoying this series that I am bringing to you currently, and I'll see you guys in the next video.